Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use mobile first with Android Pogard. The first thing we will do is briefly recap what Pogard is. The Pogard tool shrinks, optimizes and obfuscates your code by removing unused code and renaming classes, fields and methods with semantically obscure names. Because Pogard makes your application harder to reverse engineer, it is important that you use Pogard when your application utilizes features that are sensitive to security. For example, licensing applications. It's important to know the effect using Pogard has on the code before moving forward. Let's take a moment and see a quick example of what Pogard does to a file. We will start by taking two APK files, convert them to JAR, and view them with JD GUI. The first file is non obfuscated started application sample APK file, whose code is clearly visible and vulnerable. It is easy to make out the code and manipulate it. The second file is the same application but it has been obfuscated using Pogard. Renaming and reordering the code make it hard to restore. Now we will learn how to use mobile first hybrid application with Android Pogard. Let's quickly create a mo new mobile first hybrid application with Android environment. In the Android application we have the Pogard project text file which is the configuration file for Pogard. We can see that the file is already configured to work with mobile first. If you have any configuration to add, this is the place you would like to do so. To enable Pogard, go to the Project Properties file and uncomment this line. Now we will build the application in release mode. We can see that we have a new folder called Pogard, which contains the information about the specific build that we just made. Save the mapping text file for every release that you publish to a user. By retaining a copy of the mapping file for each release build, you ensure that you can debug a problem if a user encounters a bug and submits an obfuscated stack trace. A project mapping file is overridden every time you do a release build so you must be careful about saving the versions that you need. Let's see this obfuscated APK file. We will convert it to jar using the dex to jar tool. and open it in JD GUI. You can see here our obvious gated code.
Now we will go over to use the mobile first native Android application with Bogard. We will see it's very similar to what we did before. We already have the default Bogard configuration file in our native application. Now we will need to replace it with a mobile first configuration file. Again, we will uncomment this line and build in release mode. That's all. I also want to show you how to restore an obfuscated stack trace. I'll purposely cause an error in our Java code and run the application. As you can see, we receive an obfuscated stack trace. To restore this line, we will open the Progard GUI tool. Choose the correct mapping file and copy the text to the stack trace. Click retrace and as you can see we have the restored stack trace. Everything explained until now can also be found in our Knowledge Center documentation under Deploying Mobile First Projects. I hope this was helpful. That's all for now. Thank you very much.